Please, sir. Kenny Goins is an interesting guy in this team. A lot of doesn't get a lot of respect, but just a grinder. Would you talk about what you saw in film and obviously what you saw tonight, please, sir? Well, the mistake I made was I came out early and talked to Coach Izzo before the game. I said, "Boy, I'm so impressed with with Kenny Goins set up into a shot. Gets his butt down, his hands up, he's ready to shoot every time." Coach says, "Yeah, that's he's really improved that way." And then he goes out, and makes his first five, and I regretted saying it. I should have said, "I think he's got something wrong." Uh, but, uh, you know, Kenny, I think he's a self-made guy. Uh, you know, he went from a guy not in, in the scouting report years ago to going out and having a, a great night, you know, 24 points and 8 rebounds. And I, I just think that says a lot about the culture of Michigan State and, and the character of a guy like Kenny. Coach, what do you think about the fight that you guys had tonight coming off the last game and the way things have been going lately? Yeah, you know, this is a... You know, playing hard is one thing, but also playing hard and playing well, you know, you, you have to be able to do both. And I thought we did a lot of things right tonight. Uh, when you look at the way we played against Michigan, yeah, that was such a disappointment. Uh, we've got to have more in us than that, and I thought tonight we did. Now, there are no moral victories, but at the same time, fought back at the seven. Uh, I think a chance to cut it to six with a free throw. We miss. Xavier Tillman hits a three. You know, unlikely suspect. Uh, then we come down, we miss a, a three, and we have the five point play on the flagger one. And now you're looking up as 14 and maybe 30 seconds of play. And uh, that's what Michigan State can do to you. Uh, and then when they shoot the ball that well tonight, uh, that would, that's why they might end up being a conference champion. Tim, you, the, the five point play that they had, what explanation did you get on that, that call? And then how critical was that in stopping things? Yeah, that whole series was really critical because that we had momentum. I think we'd outscored them by 11 points or 12 in the second half, 11, I think. And and you're like, okay, you know, eventually you hope that they get a little bit antsy and maybe bickering or at, you know agitated at each other, and you, you get them in where you want them. And uh, but that was a huge play. Now I, I the explanation was it was a player one. And I didn't ask. I mean, I, it looked odd to me, so I figured something was up. But I was looking through like nine guys. I think you have to, uh, just in closing, when, when, when you look at Michigan State, and I mean, Coach, Coach Izzo literally loses two lottery picks. And he's got what looks to me to be a Final Four team. Then they lose Joshua. And, and then uh, Nick's out for a long period of time. And so you have to reinvent yourself and do it at such a high level is just so impressive. And, and the one thing I love about playing in Michigan State is you learn so much about yourself and your guys because if you don't compete your butt off against them, I mean, it's a freight train and you're in the way. And, and so I just have to commend them and, uh, and everybody like that. that uh, I mean, his coaching staff is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm keeping this thing going because, uh, you know, I mean, you could – lose that you know there, it's easy to get disappointed but coach is will not allow that and that's really impressive so i just want to close with that thanks, thanks.